he would change places with his wife, Bess, and a very classic piece of magic. They're really spectacular. These are the uh, keys that would be used to open up every lock that existed, every handcuff lock. How many years are you collecting? I've been acquiring all these things and kind of archiving all these stories for maybe 25 or 30 years now. Any chance you have an idea what it's all worth? I think hundreds and hundreds of uh, millions of dollars, yeah. Millions? Yeah, hundreds of millions, yeah. yeah. Wow, a clip there from an all-new Strange Inheritance, which will air this evening on the Fox Business Network. The host of that very fine program is Jamie Colby, and she set out for Santa Barbara, California, to meet the owners of a jewel-encrusted brooch that was once owned by, of all people, Harry Houdini. And Jamie joins us now in the studio. Good morning, Jamie. It's very good to see you, as always. Thanks, Connell. We Great to be with you. We have our whole panel here, and I was distracted by the fact that John Hilsenrath of the Wall Street Journal came in, and he, the first thing he says, hey, I'm related to Harry Houdini, which is what? another story he was, altogether. He but he is president. not the mystery buyer of the exactly. brooch. Exactly. Tell us about this. Maybe he would have gotten a better deal. I don't know. We were so yeah. lucky to talk to David Copperfield, who is the world's largest and most impressive collector, not only of illusion and magic memorabilia, but specifically of Harry Houdini. And this is a spectacular piece of jewelry that Bess Houdini had and gave to her friend Arlene. Arlene and her husband Milt owned the Magic Castle in Los Angeles. They developed the concept for the Magic Castle. So if, you, if you've been there, it's a roadside type attraction. And they got the brooch and she wore the brooch and then they decided they were going to sell the brooch and provenance is always an issue. And where did Houdini get it? You have to watch tonight to find out whether it was Tsar Nicholas II. Do you know Family no, Secrets? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, then 9 and 9.30 tonight you can watch. And the other one is a historic uh, piece about half hour show about a family who inherited arrowheads. Huh. 250 <laughs> thousand or more arrowheads and they tell an incredible native american story of this country he won't sell you won't believe why he's wow. native american himself but he was a caregiver he got this huge collection he does something incredible with it i'm always amazed at how different these shows are and how many different items people inherited uh, yes you know hence the title here's one other clip before we talk about that from tonight's show here it is how convinced are you that this brooch originally was from Nicholas II? Do you have any documents, John, or any records or any firsthand knowledge that says for sure you're right and everyone else is wrong? I will never go 100% on Houdini. Um, we are always discovering things, so you never know when that photo of Houdini and uh, Tsar Nicholas is going to show up. <laughs> So it's kind I'm of, on the hunt. I'm on the hunt, Connell. I'm doing kind of my difficult. investigative journalism here yeah. with these amazing families yeah. who open up their homes and their collections. We have 26 new shows. They started last week. Two air tonight, the Arrowheads and the Houdini Brooch. Uh, a lot of twists, turns, and surprises. We went to 38 states, and 11 of those episodes were from viewers who wrote me and said, you think you've seen an inheritance? Oh, Check right? mine out, too. That's kind of cool. That's, That's a great way to And then I show ideas. up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. Baby Colby. Uh, we always love it, and we'll watch it tonight. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thank Good stuff.